Hi guys, here's a little diethylpropion update for you guys. Um, I had to stop using it for a few days because I was running low on my anti-anxiety medicine. And I take anti-anxiety medicine every day as it is. And so you can imagine when taking a stimulant like diethylpropion, um, um, it was a little bit of a challenge for someone like me with an anxiety disorder. But anyways, so I had to take, I had to stop taking it for a few days because I took a few extra pills when I was getting used to the diethylpropion. Now I'm used to it and I'm going to be getting my meds filled in a couple days. And um, today I took the diethylpropion with, um, and tomorrow I'll be taking it. But anyways, um, I had a little, I gained a few pounds back, but I'm still a few pounds down. I was seven pounds down, but now I'm only like three or four pounds down because I took a few day break off of it. So um, I'll keep you guys updated though, okay? Just didn't want to leave you guys in the dark. And where I picked up my face, it's finally healing up and I was able to put on makeup today and uh, try out some looks, makeup looks, well, one makeup look for the Smashing Pumpkins concert. <laughs> but anyways, um, I love you guys and I'll be updating more and I'll be sure not to overtake my anti-anxiety medicine because A, I need it and B, I need it. And, um, but yeah, I just don't know how it would react with someone who doesn't have anxiety. I think you would just get energy, you know what I mean? And just feel pretty good, you know? But, but for someone with anxiety, at first it made me have to take more of my medicine until I got used to it. So I'll be updating um, once, uh, once at least once a week. Okay, guys? Love you guys.